the wonderful things that Nilo has been able to achieve in the opera is to shine a, a, a different light or a unique light on Frida's relationship to Diego, Frida's relationship to her art, how the two come together and how the two are also separate. And Nilo very carefully, but very naturally lays in all the hints in act one about how Frida feels. stage in an opera about Diego and Frida. It's really a challenge and it's a great idea. Nilo Cruz really brought together Diego and Frida in the threshold of the underworld. This in-between life and death situation. Dia de Muertos is much more than the folklore we all know because what it's really representing is how the dead souls travel to the underworld. What I would like to do is bring on this Aztec mythology tradition of the Mictlán. There are parallels between Queen Christina, which is the movie that I quote, the movie in which Greta Garbo stars in, that I quote in the opera of uh, The Last Dream of, of Frida and Diego Rivera. Uh, and because in Queen Christina, the queen escapes from the palace to visit her lover, who is not part of, of royalty, and she only has 24 hours to be with her lover. And I think that there are parallels too with, with Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera in The Last Dream because basically Frida is visiting the world for 24 hours.
non-Mexicans claim Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera as heroes. This needs to happen and hopefully it will help just widen that door, especially in this last year that we've had when there's been such an introspection by the industry looking at, wow, we don't champion Black composers and Latin American composers. We're depriving ourselves, depriving the world. I think it's important to look at the wealth uh, that comes from Latin America and our input to the world of art, and especially because in this country, we're sometimes seen as immigrants that come here and we're seen as only servers in restaurants, just the, the working class. And we forget that we have great masters who really serve the world of literature, the world of art, and that needs to be recognized in this country as well. I chose to commission El Ultimo Sueño de Frida y Diego because of our community of San Diego. And when we decide to commission new works, we wanna make sure those works really address the audiences that we serve. We serve a very large Hispanic community and also a very large community that has a Mexican presence, those are distinct things. But that is the community that we live in. And beyond that, I think the iconic uh, nature of the two characters of Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera are characters that the rest of our community can also really easily relate to. Ooh.